Hey guys and welcome to another tutorial. In this one I'll cover Graph N which is an amazing plugin with a set of useful tools for building environments. There are a lot of tools here which help you simplify and speed up your world building process and I will cover a couple of them to get you familiar with the plugin. One of the most important tools here which has a lot of use cases is Surface Scatter. Using this tool, you can scatter vegetation, debris, garbage, and everything you want on a surface, and it also gives you a lot of control over how you scatter them. Here you can see that I have made a garden, and I have made a road in the middle of the garden with only a couple of clicks. It is also a completely non-destructive process, so you have maximum control over what you create in your level. If you want to make something like this in the foliage mode only using the brush tool in Arial, it would be really time consuming and tedious because you don't have enough control over your scattering items and you have to do everything manually. But here in Graphen, I have a lot of settings in my scatter tool and I can make everything I want by tweaking these guys here. Okay, let's delete them all and make something from scratch to see exactly how it works. Here I'm gonna click on the tools library and here I have access to all the tools available in the plugin. Let's scroll down to find surface scatter and open it up. It needs a surface to scatter the objects on so I'm gonna click on my cylinder and then hit this plus icon here. After that we need the objects we want to scatter. Here I have imported a couple of foliage assets from Quixel and I'm gonna select the ones I want and then I'm gonna add them to my tool. Here you can see that the job is done and from now on we just need to play with these settings to achieve what we want. Let's pump up the scale and also play with the density to make it look better. A cool thing you can do here is that you can choose a path or an object and control the scattering even more. Here I have made a spline and assigned it to the proximity masking and now as we can see the scattering can be adjusted with the spline I made. If you check the mesh invert option you can see that it reverses the scattering and this way you can define the places you don't want to have any objects on. You can repeat the same process and make other instances of the tool and scatter other objects on the surface like we did in the previous one and make your garden look better. This was only one of the tools in the plugin. There is a lot more to explore and each and every one of them can be quite handy in different scenarios. For example, another tool that can be quite useful in environment design is the cable bundle. You can give it two meshes and it will create a bundle of cables between them with just a couple of clicks and after that you can play with the settings to achieve exactly what you are looking for. Here I just wanted to showcase the plugin and I cannot explain them one by one in this video but if you are interested in the tool and you want to learn more about it you can go to their YouTube channel and watch their in-depth tutorials. They also have a 30 day free trial so you can give it a try for free. The installation is also pretty straightforward. You can just click the link in the description, download the plugin, install it on Arial and start working with it. Yeah and that's it for this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching, see you in the next one.